So you learn how to swim on the kitchen table. This is Rick Jarman, Real Estate Old School. You know, when I was a boy, about, I guess, seven, eight years old, I had a neighbor that's two, three years younger than me, and we were talking one day, and he was telling me he knew how to swim. Now, I knew how to swim at that time, but I knew this old boy didn't know how to swim, and I said, well, where did you learn how to swim? He said, on the kitchen table. His mama taught him. Now, that sounds funny, doesn't it? It was funny to me then. But I'm going to tell you something. It's just as funny here on social media when I hear somebody telling somebody else how to do a deal, how they how they get, were doing something wrong, or this is what they need to do, you know, to do it, and this is the right way to do it. And they never did it. But they read them books, went to the seminars, learned how to swim on the table. That's just how funny it sounds. And folks, there's a lot of y'all out there are taking advice from these people. You don't check your sources. You don't see what kind of experience they have. Folks, there's people out there selling stuff and doing stuff that maybe only did one or two deals. And people are buying it because, you know what? They're telling you what you want to hear. They're tickling your ears. You know, you don't be like that. You gain experience by making mistakes. How do you keep from making mistakes? You gain experience. No shortcuts. You're going to make mistakes. You just realize you're going to do that. And a lot of mistakes cost you money. But some of them are your best educators there. You lose a lot of money, you'll learn not to do that one again. You might make another mistake, but you won't make that one most of the time. Bottom line is just don't listen to everybody's got an opinion, especially if you don't know what their experience level is. Everybody's not an expert. Just because there's a, a way to get on here and act like an expert, it doesn't make you an expert. Who knows? You know, people lease these big houses and stand in front them. They lease the cars or they borrow it. Looks good in the video. Buy my course. You'll learn how to make money. Hmm. But you know, now there's plenty of people on here that are doing it every day and trying to help you. And most of them's on here giving it away. And maybe they've got a course they want to sell. And that's good. If they got the experience, they need to get paid for it. But don't put money in people's pocket that have not did it or did it once or twice. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I just, it, this had kind of got on my mind today. I'd been reading some things here on social media and watching, and I just, I just, sometimes I'm just like, these people out here learning how to swim on the kitchen table. Talk with y'all tomorrow. Have a good day. Well, folks, I was getting ready to upload my video, and I happen to notice my curtain rod there. You, you see the ceiling slopes, but sometimes in the video, it'll look like it's crooked. Now, I was a home builder for 31 years, been in construction full-time for 36 years. I ain't gonna have no crooked rod, folks. I've got enough OCD in me, it'd drive me crazy. But one time I had a person to say something about that, thought my curtain rod was crooked. Ah, uh, anyway. I just, it just struck me funny. I said, well, I'm just going to get that out of the way before somebody else says something. Because I thought, well, I don't like I would do that. I'm a home builder. Anyway, and also, at the end of my video, you probably heard my grandson. He got excited. He's upstairs playing one of those video games with his buddies where, you know, they can't be with them, but they get on there and they play the game, see each other. I don't know how that works, but I know he gets excited sometimes and lets out a yell. So you probably heard it. But anyway, y'all have a good day. Just want to get those things straightened out.